yeah, I think the idea behind the selection is to uh, put the best possible squad in place uh, to obviously uh, get the performance we want in March. Uh, at the same time, I also have a, a responsibility of evaluating evaluating players uh, to be ready for for 2026. And I think, uh, you know, giving the opportunity uh, to players now to gain experience uh, is also important. And, and I think uh, that's the the basis of it. And, uh, you know, when I look at the roster, there's a lot of players that are in good form in uh, doing well at their clubs and, and not only, uh, you know, playing minutes, it's, you know, performing well and, and being important players within those clubs. So uh, I'm really excited about the selection. Um, you know, there's players that will be hungry, hungry to come and, uh, you know, make an impact, uh, but also uh, be ready to to get on to, to this next journey. Um, I think uh, with Milan, um, obviously, uh, you know, had that conversation with Milan and, and talked about that, those similar things about giving opportunities uh, to uh, to other players uh, and, and getting them ready. And, and for me, it's about evaluating all that, evaluating uh, which players will be ready uh, in the future, but at the same time, putting a solid uh, squad in place uh, for us to have success uh, here in the short term. Well, right, right now, look, at the end of the day, uh, like I said, I, I need to uh, evaluate and, and make decisions. I think going forward, uh, it's about, you know, giving these opportunities to young players. And I think uh, it's not about closing the door, but at the end of the day, those are those are uh, decisions that uh, he'll take on a personal level. Uh, but for me, it's about continuing to evaluate what's best for this club going forward. Jonathan uh, has uh, done really well for this country in the past. And I think, uh, you know, he's he's moved into a leadership role there uh, with TFC. TFC's got off to a good start. And, and I think uh, Jonathan uh, allows me, uh, gives me flexibility uh, in the way he could play. As you see, he, he's played in different positions, even at Toronto. And I think for me, that, that helps me uh, also from a tactical perspective of having a player like that uh, who understands the tactics, uh, who's very intelligent and is able to adjust and adapt to different situations. So, so this is uh, this is why the selection for Jonathan and, and someone that brings uh, brings experience uh, and could help uh, you know uh, guide the way for some of those younger players as well. Yeah, I think uh, you know that's something that I'll, I'll decide in camp and and obviously for me, uh, it'll be a reset, a cultural reset uh, with the group and. Uh, I think what I'm looking to achieve is uh, a base in this camp. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of good leaders uh, and some of these young leaders need space, uh, need space to live and experience, uh, you know, situations now with uh, with these responsibilities. So uh, for me, it's about uh, building this base with this group and allowing leaders now to grow into these positions. And from there, I'll be evaluating and then uh, I'll make a decision uh, who the captain is uh, on game day. Yeah, obviously I've been following those uh, those players very closely. Uh, you know, I'll start with Theo. Uh, Theo's, uh, you know, had a really good start to, to the year here in 2024. Uh, you know, he ended it well, and then he continued uh, his momentum. And uh, I think uh, Theo, um, you know, has been able to score goals, but he's also been very impactful uh, in his play, getting assists, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, when, when you look at players that are in that type of form, uh, you know, you want to bring in these types of players that are, that are coming in with confidence, that are hungry. Uh, so I liked what I saw from him, um, you know, uh, the other day or last week, uh, he scored against Rangers. So it's a, it's a player that now is experiencing things, you know, uh, you know, high level games and, and then performing in these high level games. So these are all things that, uh, allowed me to 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 select him. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, also, Ike Ubo uh, in his in his um, you know his change at Sheffield. Uh, I think uh, you know he's transformed that team. They've gone on a bit of a run, and uh, he's been scoring goals and in form and getting assists. And and there's a lot about his play that I've enjoyed watching also. And I think that it could be helpful for us uh, with this uh, with with this group in in terms of what he could bring now. Uh, and Jonathan, uh, for me, Jonathan uh, continues uh, his form and uh, had an excellent season last year. Montreal is off to an excellent start this year. Uh, again, he's been very impactful. It's a young goalkeeper, uh, but again, he's uh, he's making his mark uh, in that league. And, uh, you know, I think he merits this call up. Yeah, I think uh, to touch on that, that first part, I think... Uh, 
you know, uh, a lot of players go through uh, these different moments in, the, in their careers, right? Where they're dealing with, you know, playing time, not playing time. And I think they're, they're, they're used to that. They're all uh, top level professionals. Uh, so it's, it's, it's something that's very normal. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not worried about some of those players, you know, Tejan plays uh, on probably the top three, one of the top three teams in the world right now, where those teams are deep two and three players. Uh, so uh, he's he's a player that um, you know brings a lot to this team. The same with Stefan Stefan Astakio, who's been in and out, and even Ishmael Kone. So they're they're players that have gone through these these little dips in their form, and at the same time, uh, you know it's a it's a it's a freshness to come into the national team and into the national team environment uh, where they'll be able to express themselves. So I, I'm looking forward to to that and 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 also uh, you know giving them that opportunity. And at the same time, uh, yeah, it's about building a base uh, and and building a base culturally uh, for this team uh, to go forward. And and yeah, there'll be a shift uh, in the leadership and. There'll be some pl some players that are going to move into those leadership roles uh, with a, a little bit more responsibility, uh, and and from there it's about growing from from there. And uh, we have an important game in front of us that we need to to perform at. And then once uh, from there, it, it's about now going on to the next journey. And and what's ahead of us is the Copa America and the World Cup. So we're constantly. Uh, you know, preparing this team to continue to grow uh, from a cultural perspective, but also uh, on the field. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when I look at uh, center backs and the two I selected are in very good form at the moment. Uh, Joel Waterman, uh, who had a very good end of season last year and had a, has had a very good start of season this year. Uh, he's played with some familiar players uh in that role, when we talk about uh, Kamal Miller and uh, Alistair Johnston, there's uh, Moises Bombito, who also is off to a really good start uh, with Colorado's, had some solid performances. So uh, I'm confident uh, in these players, uh, you know, in, in terms of their form and coming into the squad. And I think uh, they're going to bring their, their value. I think if you think of Joel, uh, his capacity to pass is probably one of the best passers uh, out of the back in MLS, uh, and then you think of a, a guy like Moises Bombido, who's you know um, you know also a very good passer, uh, athletic, uh, and and a player that has a a, a very high ceiling. So in, in that position, uh, I think we're 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 covered with the selections I, I've I've uh, I've done. And in terms of now, you know, there's players that have that wing back, winger, full back uh, type. Uh, profile and uh, a lot of them you know if you think about fullback or wingback you have Davies you have Buchanan uh you, you have Alistair Johnson you have Liam Miller who's starting in a wingback position every weekend uh, so a lot of players Jacob Schaffelberg a lot of players that have played in in those in, in those roles so uh I feel that I'm, I'm covered in those positions definitely want you know uh players that are hungry players that are coming in with that attitude of you know representing this country and, and I think uh, you know if I had to analyze the squad it's it's kind of slipped uh, over the last year uh, post World Cup uh, and for me it's about reigniting that passion and you know uh, bringing young players that are in form uh, these are players that are going to be hungry these are players that are going to want to be part of this journey and I think uh, for sure that um, you know that is is the mindset. Uh, uh, you know, that, that I want coming into this camp. And, uh, you know, it's, it's for sure. You, you, when you, when you make some changes, there's going to be some players that are going to step up into some leadership roles and, uh, you know, and, and that's not going to happen overnight. It's not just going to happen all of a sudden, you know, in one camp that, uh, oh, yeah, we have a, we have a leader. I think leaders need, need space, uh, to grow. They need time to, to live things, uh, uh, within a group and, and from there you start to to form and mold the the new leaders for this team going forward yeah i think uh, i'll start off with ali and obviously ali is a uh, is a player that uh you know uh we follow very closely uh, i spoke with him the other day um our medical team has been in direct contact with their medical team. Uh, Ali had a an injury and had missed uh, a good portion of preseason. Uh, there was a return to play plan uh, by Vancouver that uh, that was uh, communicated to us. And um, you know, for him, uh, yes, he got into the game the the other day. Uh, but you know, speaking with him, he he still has a little bit of a ways to go in terms of being a hundred percent fit. 
uh, it's a player that we continue to monitor and a player, uh, you know, that we would like to see in the future based on the way he is progressing. Uh, there's no doubt, uh, you know, uh, when, when I, when I evaluate his play, but again, we thought that it's best that he gets uh, his full fitness, gets into 90 minute games where he's now, uh, uh, and gets himself ready, uh, for the, for the June window. So that's, uh, that's Ali, um, and then, sorry, the other question was uh, Jacob, Schaff Jacob Schaffenberg. Schaffenberg. Yeah, so Jacob uh, had a really good preseason, uh, was scoring goals in preseason. And, uh, you know, uh, he just continued his form. And uh, they, they're they playing in the two championships. So there's a lot of games there. And he, he's done well in that, the Champions League and was able to score the other day again uh, against, uh, against Inter Miami. So it's a player that I see, uh, you know, uh, progressing well at his club and I think again it's a player that merits a, a call-up based on his performances and and uh, you know whether whether he comes off the bench or he starts it's a, bla a player that could bring uh, you know energy on on that left-hand side could deliver crosses uh, could give you a work ethic that you could trust uh, so he's done well for us in the past uh, as he scored that big goal against the U.S. Uh, in the gold cup uh, it's just a matter of him now uh, you know, getting those opportunities. Uh, but I'm happy to see that he's he's starting to be very impactful uh, in that team, like a lot of other players are. It's not just that they're getting minutes. They're like being impactful and being important players in the team. And, and I think that's super important uh, for, for the national team when you have a lot of players coming in with that confidence. Yeah, I think, you know, there's obviously, uh, you know, coming out of the World Cup, um, you know, uh, you know, there's there's been political distractions, if you want to call them. There's been a coaching change. There's been a lot of things uh, happening within the organization, and and you know, um, I think when these distractions start to multiply, uh, things start to slip a little bit. And and for me, it's 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 bringing back that mindset and reframing it to, to what's ahead of us and, and some of the opportunities that we have ahead of us. And, and I think, uh, you know, when, when I, when I talk about that, it's with all respect to everybody who was there in the past. Uh, but at the same time, moving forward, it's about, um, you know, resetting and refocusing this group on uh, what, uh, what's in front of them. And for me, it's about helping them achieve that.